Hello everyone, my name is Michael and welcome back to the fourth episode of this Selenium tutorial series. In this episode, we will see how we can solve reCAPTCHA using the CAPTCHA API. So with that said, let's get into today's video. So as you see here, the CAPTCHA is a service that offers solving CAPTCHAs for you. Basically, you give it the website you want to solve the CAPTCHA, the URL, and then you give it some extra information and then in return it will give you a code which you can input to that website you want to solve the captcha and then once you click submit it will seem like the captcha is solved which is basically solved so first of all it says go to the website you want to solve the recapture which in today's video we will use this recapture demo from google and we will open developers console and let's see what it does. So it says open developers console in your browser and find element with data site key attribute. So let's go ahead and find that. So we'll click up here and then we will hover over this recapture. We want to find the G recapture. There we go. It's up here. So G recapture and then the data site key. And then we will use that so it can identify the data site key. And as you see right here, we have the Python demo. Let me close that. And re it requires the site key and also the URL. And then in return, it will give us this code right here. Now we want to get this code. And once we get that code, we want to automatically go to the text area, which we have to find right here. And we have to insert this one right here to text area, but not this one, but the dynamic code it will give us afterwards it will not be this exact one and we will insert it inside the text area and then once we do that we will click submit and it should solve the captcha correctly so yeah let's go on a code and see how we can do that first of all i want to create a new python file called captcha.py you can call it whatever you want doesn't really matter and let's go back to the old and now let's copy the basics here so let's copy those so it does then also let's copy the browser the creation of the browser and i guess that's basically right okay so let's go back and now let's replace the url with the url we want to solve the recaptcha from so let's copy this one right here let's replace the url and i guess let's test it first of all and there we go it opens a window with the url we wanted now let's continue so let's go back and we want to create a function or let's create another file, separate file that uses this Python right here. So let's do that. So let's say solve rate captcha um, dot py. And now let's create a function dev solve rate captcha. And we want to do that, but we want to import outside. There we go. First of all, we want to install two captcha and you don't install two captcha like this one right here, but instead pip install to capture dash Python. This is actually the name, but that's how you import it. So yeah, it's kind of complicated. Just do that and you'll be fine. Now, as you will see, this also requires an API key. And that's because the service is a paid service, but it's really cheap. So let me show you. As you will see right here, it costs about 50 cents for 1000 solved captures now that's not recaptures or recaptures is a little bit more actually it's a lot more but it's still really cheap so for recaptures it's three dollars per 1000 solved recaptures and that's a lot that's a lot of free captures but it depends on your use case so yeah let's continue so first of all you want to sign up and i'll really appreciate if you hit the link down in the description which is an affiliate link so i'll earn a small commission every time you deposit some money in the service so let's sign up actually i'll sign in by you sign up create an api key which it will be automatically created for you deposit minimum three dollars as that's what they require you to deposit and then copy the api key and let's continue but let me show you where you can find that api key so first of all log in after you log in you will scroll down and right here you should find your api key just click copy and it should be copied automatically for you okay so let's go back and code and again make sure you replace this your api key 
with your API key. And now let's figure what we will do with this one right here. So what we can do is actually get some parameters. So the site key and URL can be dynamic. And let's replace this with the site key variable. And same for the URL. There we go. Now what we can do is import that functionality. So from import solve recapture. There we go. And after we visit the website, we can solve the recapture. So let's do that. And actually in our use case, the data site key is always the same for each website. Give it as a parameter. Again, it's always the same for each website. Now, if you visit any other website, you'll have to find that data site key, but we don't have to make any functionalities to fetch that data site key as it's always the same. Next, it requires to put the URL. And again, that's also the same every time. So let's copy it and paste it right here. And actually right here, what I wanted to do is return it. So let's do return and then result. Let's remove that and just print E. There we go. And I guess let's test it. So what I will do is replace my API key. And there we go. So let's say result equal to that. And then let's print the result. And let's see if it works. And there we go. We got the result. Again, it took a lot of time to solve it. So it took me about three minutes. Have that in mind. Now let's say code equals results. So the result and then let's get the code. We don't want the capture ID, just the code. And yeah, let's continue. So now we want to get that code and put it inside this text area. So let's see how we can do that. Okay, so I finally found how we can update the text area. So it's actually not as complicated, but it's kind of hacky. So let me show you how, how we can do that. So first of all, we said browser dot execute a script and we tell it to execute a JavaScript script. And yeah, that's how you do it. And the JavaScript script, what it does is it says document, which is the whole website get element by ID and we give it the element ID and then we update the inner HTML and then we give it the updated value. So yeah, that's how we're going to do that. So first of all, I also say time to sleep like for five or three seconds because the text area is not like immediately visible. So that's why I do that. But we can also say like web driver await for 10 seconds until that element is visible and we can give it the ID. There we go. So yeah, let's do that instead. And right here, instead of doing that, what we will do is give it the code. So here we will say code, there we go. And right here, let's uncomment that. And yeah, let's test it out. And also we'll click submit, there we go. Let me remove that and let's run our script. So now it will start getting the code from the two captcha API, which take like few seconds to a minute or something like that. And as you will see in a bit, it will console, it will print the code in the terminal and then it will click submit. And there we go. It actually did it, but it did it too fast and we couldn't see if it actually did it. So what I will do is once we click submit, I'll sleep for us, let's say two minutes. There we go. And let's rerun our code. So with the time sleep, what we did is, okay, wait for two minutes before you close the browser. That's basically it. And there we go. So as you see, it said verification success. So yeah, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. The code will be down in the description so you can clone it and use it however you like. Subscribe, hit the like button if you enjoyed the video. Let me know down in the comments what you'd like to see next. And also share this video with your friends or anyone you, you think this video would be helpful to. So yeah, see you in the next video.